All right, so here's how you figure out which clips you need for your type of face mask. You've got the lightweight face masks, which is this guy right here, and you can kind of tell that this is a thicker gauge wire. You have the standard size wire or gauge wire face mask, which is this here. And this is an SP, this is the S2BDSWSP. If you see an SP at the end of the face mask codes, that means it's a standard face mask gauge. And then you have the HS4s. This HS4 you can see is much thinner compared to the gauge of these lightweight face masks. So all of the lightweight face masks have LW at the end of the face mask code. There are a couple of tells where you can look at your face mask and you can figure out which one you have because from a distance, they kind of all look the same. The Speedflex helmets, 100% all of them have these, the HS4 material. HS4 stands for high strength spring stainless steel. These are all the same gauge where the clips attach right here and you have to have speed flex clips and they're all quick release. The original face mask that came out with a speed, we call them now the standard face mask. All of the replica and authentic helmets come with and have always come with the standard face mask. So if you have a Riddell speed a collectible helmet, then you wanna get the standard clips. So the standard clips will fit perfectly on all of the face masks that come with these. So if I wanted to take the clips on this helmet and buy some white clips, which I think that would look very nice, maybe even a white face mask might look nice, um, then I just buy the, the standard one. Best way to determine, hey, is my face mask standard or not? You have one bar right here in the middle that attaches the top two bars. How do I determine if I have an HS4 face mask? You have two bars right here that attach the top two bars. Not all HS4 face masks actually have two bars. Same thing with the standard, so those could be a little bit trickier. Um, and then for the lightweight face mask, here's one of our old big grills. We're gonna work on a project for this guy. Um, we call these, the, or internally we call these, the evil eyebrow bars. So let's go over some of these clips and show you what happens when you try and put the wrong clips on these face masks. We'll start with the HS4 face mask, which is the thinnest gauge wire, a lightweight clip, just so you can see the extremes here and what's going on. So this clip right here is for the thickest, it's a lightweight clip and it just spins. Like you do not want to be wearing this clip on this type of face mask on the field. On a collectible, would that be okay? I guess it's going to sit on the shelf. It's going to be fine. But now let's try an HS4 clip on a lightweight, which is the other end of the spectrum. And harder to put on, but you can see here, no matter what I do, I am not gonna get the screw through that to lock this thing down. It's not gonna happen. So you, this is what you're going to experience if you have a football helmet right now that has an HS4 face mask on it, which means it came with HS4 clips. You wanna upgrade to one of the uh, help one of the face masks here that's a lightweight, you're gonna have to get new clips. It's just, there's, there's no other way around it. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So we have some new clips, and this is one of the reasons we're talking about this. We now have white clips, we have silver clips, we've got coming in soon black clips, and some uh, yellow, bright yellow clips or Green Bay gold clips. These are all the same clips that you see in the NFL. They're starting to pop up on teams all over the place. There's some uh, colleges that use these clips too. Now we have them. If you want to upgrade your helmets with some of these clips, these are pretty standard colors. I think they're going to look fantastic. You're going to love it. Just make sure you buy the right clips. These are all stand, all the colored clips we're getting for those speeds are all standard. So they're really designed for collectibles more than anything else. Will they work? If you have lightweight, kind of they will. Yeah, so you can get We'll put one of these clips here on a lightweight see, so you can see what you get here. And look at that. It's not, you know, it's still kind of tight. It's hard to move, but you can squeeze it. I would not recommend you use these colored clips if you have an HS4 mask and you play on the field. If it's a collectible, no problem. So if you're interested in any of these new colored clips, uh, we'll put a link below in the description. You can click there 
it'll take you right to it. You can pick whichever ones you want. Um, if you don't see the colors that you want, go ahead and make sure you put your, uh, your cell phone number or your email address. You'll get notified the second that they go back in stock. If this is your first time uh, checking out our, our videos, definitely help us out. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell. We talk about helmets and face masks. We try and educate everybody on all this stuff, whether you're a player, a parent of a player, or a collector, this is the spot to learn about helmets and everything that goes into them. So until next time, cheers.